in this lesson we will see what is a group in 3d max and uh, i'll just select this one if you see yeah and i'll just make bigger viewport by pressing alt w so you can see very properly so now i'll just change this realistic to shaded now if i want to make a group of all those things i'll select click i want say multiple selection press control on your keyboard if you see if you press control on your keyboard you get a small plus sign behind uh, back of your uh, cursor so click click now it's called multiple selection so when you want to move this all those three objects into one group so what i will do i'll just click select select and i'll say group there is a group you can name this group so i'll say make grp that is group so now if you select any of this object you will have a one group and you can move it you can rotate it or you can scale it so this is the benefit of the group so now if i want to add this object how to do that first of all i'll see what are the options in the group so you have group ungroup open close attach and detach so one by one we'll see what is that first is ungroup i'll just select this and say ungroup everything is now ungrouped the group has been diminished and see everyone is individual now this is called ungroup so i'll just say group again now the third option is open what is that i'll just select any of these object i'll say group and say open now if you see there is a pink box something like this it shows you have you have access in this group so if you select this this object you can move around you can you can modify this object like you can go to modify you can change its radius something like this you have already changed and again you have to close it and say group now you can say close now if you click again if you see group you will see open again you can say open again so now i want to add this object into this group how we can do that just go to group i'm just selecting this group and say group select this object i'll say group i'll say attach see this is uh, this is a separate object now this object we have to add in this group so now selecting this object first and going to group and say attach now which group you have to attach just just click on this pink line you can click over here now this is in group so if you see this is has expanded so now click group say detach this is separate again if you want this i'll say this one group say detach now this is separate so now if you if you again want to attach in this same group what you will do just select both of them which is outside of this group i'll go to group and say attach and click on this group now it has been one single group but still you can move around because it has the group has been not been closed so clicking this object again any of this object or clicking this line and go to group and say close now this is one group so this was the grouping actually and grouping helps a lot in 3d max whenever you make a chair when you make a any anything in 3d max we have to make a group of it so this is what um, the benefit of the group again you can get a group and you can scale it around move it around so it has lot of benefit of grouping so this is what the basics things of the group we have to keep in mind when we start to work around so this is what the lecture was and in next lesson we will see more things thank you